Greater damage endurance. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go with Sacred Coil for the next end. Look into what happens when former Advent officers find religion or create one. They claim to be the true path for City 31's hybrids, as long as that path involves armed sedition. All right, so we have this new investigation open for Sacred Coil now. Uh, unrest. Okay, so this is talking about the anarchy thing. Uh, how much time do we have? We've already done 30 minutes into this. If I back out now, it should still save. Patchwork's the one who got a, a scar instead of Zephyr. Zephyr was like near death in the middle of that. And nobody went down, so this doesn't make sense at all. Anyways, Claymore's almost done with his thing. And once Claymore's done, he's going back on the team. First one to get um their stuff fixed will be Shelter. But we're going to have to place somebody with uh with the scar basically and since we're doing sacred coil i think they're the ones who get the robots a lot so it's going to be more beneficial to leave patrick in with whatever her scar is let's check the oh shit when did this happen hopefully uh hopefully this didn't happen and i just didn't notice i don't like cherub that much like his shields are pretty powerful but overall i really don't think it's that it's nothing to to talk about I think both of these characters are better overall. Terminal or the healing is what I'm gonna go for. So this is City 31. Hey Terminal, you're in the pre-invasion industry portion of the city. I don't like it. The, the city? The name. Were there 30 cities that came before it? <laughs> and who numbers their home? I have no idea. I am going to get to the bottom of this. Really? No. I'm going to complain about it for a few days and then get used to the idea. All right. Oh, we never set a color for our armor. I'm going to go for green this time. Yep. We read everyone's about. Oh, never mind. That green looks garbage. Uh, literally, too. Nope. Going like armor tint. What about yellow? Nah, that feels like mustard or something. Let's go with purple. Yeah, that's that's okay i guess agent idol critical mission oh since we just got a new person i didn't even realize we got it too i was just trying to check stuff we have a ceasefire bomb a flash bomb and a smoke bomb really boost defense of squad members entering at the breach point well we can switch patrick out for terminal and then we can put patrick in some spec op stuff it's only gonna take three days. And I think we said we're gonna do shelter first. No, I'll, I'll switch them to actually. So I want Patrick to come out first. So shelter can go in here and he can go for intel. We have a decent amount of credits right now, but the intel is something that we're gonna need more of. We have a field team on every room, or not every room, but every uh thing. So I'll go for it and get this down and out the way. It should only be oh, it's three encounters. Oof. Extended magazine can go to. Yeah, you should. Not... No, no, that's why you didn't have any. Advanced extended. And you can get the extend because your main thing is shooting. AP rounds and trank. We'll give you trank rounds. You have trace around, so we'll give you APs. All right, cool. Let's go for this. I think it's going to be a longer episode. That was going to be cut in half. So welcome back to the channel. I'm King Bad. In today's video, we're picking up right where we left off, uh, going into this. Not so hidden Advent bunker. A witness spotted Sacred Coil poking around down here. If they give you trouble, poke back. Going into this sacred coil uh thing basically. So this is what I was talking about in a different playthrough where Torque has the ability to just go through these because of her race. First unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land a shot. We do terminal with that because he already has a good chance to hit. And then we'll have Zephyr lead through. Yeah, we'll have Zephyr lead through, then turn up oh, first unit and then guaranteed. So we have Shits, fuck that all up. Terminal, then blue blood, then Zephyr. Move in now. 
uh yeah welcome back we're investigating sacred coil i'm coming off of this i'm probably just gonna chop this video in half or not in half but just cut it right where it happened at okay i have a lot of robotic enemies commando there an android and a commando let's go ahead and go for this commando right here take them out completely 100 percent chance to hit whatever we go for i think we should go for it or the commando that way they're just gone anyways that's not the commando this one is or you could just go low on damage which i didn't even consider as a possibility for some reason i don't know didn't mean to do that not that bad either way and zephyr is gonna go ahead and seal up whatever's left you're gonna go for them then I didn't expect the blue blood to say something like that. He's usually pretty uh supportive overall. Use acid splash or poison spit. Let's use it right here. He wants to hide in the smoke, so we'll give him something to hide standing on too. And then we'll take a shot on this number two unit. Only 44. What they got? They have defense and low cover. You can't tongue pull them, can you? Go for just some damage on them that's a little more guaranteed. Oh shit, I forgot that they blow up. He's gonna self destruct right now. I was gonna take a shot. A few scales off. All right. Don't play it down if it's bad. What is this heal? Terminal of the four HP. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Need a little help? I didn't ask for this. The sass level between these two is just through the roof. I mean, we can Overwatch. Let's Overwatch over here. All right, let's see if this dude moves. If he moves, then we'll be Try able to, again, uh, if, you dare. if he moves, we'll be able to take a shot on him. All right, everything's giving us a shot on them and not what we actually want. Is that I gonna kill? It will. Let me use land shot. Who's number two? That dude, all right, we'll go ahead and use land shot on them then and take them out of the tornado. I sneezed and now I can hear my talk back louder, which is weird because I held my, my little mute button. You use crippling blow on them, but that's gonna deal us some damage. So we'll just use preparation. Actually, no, we're just not gonna do anything then. Yeah. So use preparation is gonna put us after blue blood which is where we'll be anyway so we'll just stay where we are and you can move over to here watch me move and then you can take a shot on the commando yeah and hopefully this android doesn't move towards us to blow oh i forgot that happened there's no soft parts. It's made of metal. And now it's gonna blow up. So it, it blew up either way, right next to us. Leave my squad alone. She doesn't have a replenish ability yet to heal us at the breach point. Also, Coil is putting up one hell of a fight for an empty bunker. We're missing something. I'm gonna contact City Archives. They may have more detailed records than HQ. Give me a sec. We really don't have a second either. We're gonna go through here and shoot a bunch of people before you come back to us with that set. Damn, I shouldn't put her in through here, but I'm going to anyways. Has the weapon disabled. Zephyr can go last because her weapon cannot be disabled. Don't bunch up. And we're gonna go for 
take the guaranteed kill pretty much i think so because the alert units the alert androids i don't think are going to do anything too bad go for the land shot on this commando also and try and take as many out as we can right now you have no good shot on anything maybe it's better for a cover rush uh, i think i'm still gonna go for the shot chance i've never i don't think i've ever used cover rush go for this android right here You can use tongue pull on an enemy and take them. You just use tongue pull on the number two dude. You come here. And then bind it so it can't uh take its turn. Does that is that gonna kill it immediately too? Yeah, good. Nice. And you can use dead eye on really whatever you can hit first. And then take another shot on Ooh, only a 42% chance here. So maybe, oops, I meant to hit exit, but I hit, hit one instead, which activates that shot. Not that bad, because it's still hit. Only The, the only reason that would have been an issue if it's high, is if I miss. I was going to move him forward and try and put him in Overwatch. I have a lot of misclicks this episode, or this little recording bit, I guess. Let's put Overwatch over everything. That way, if it tries to move up, we'll be able to shoot it prime self-destruct so hopefully we can shoot it and land our shot before it gets close enough to zephyr or it's just not gonna move uh preparation we'll move her up to here covering ground because all we have to do is take out this one unit there we go Now, are we going to see Torx's ability used again? I know what Sacred Coil is after. Would anyone care to guess? A room full of avatars? Yeah, a defunct mech repair bay, which, according to these power readings, is currently very funked. All right. Yeah, we will. And if she gets hit, she'll take uh, minus one point of damage here. We'll have him go second with his... uh. Thing, and you can use their medi patch now. It's go time. Although I don't think that's as useful right now. Interesting. Yep. Grenade out. We're not seeing anything that's supposed to be happening. Only a 59% chance on the stuff that's going to shoot us, man. I don't know if I should go for it or not though. That's probably not. I think between her her weapon and just her own general aim, she's gonna have the worst aim. I think the submachine guns don't have good aim in general. Android, Android, let's do this. Commando. It's already taken damage. So I'll go for this Android out here and try and kill it. and you can go for a shot on them they're gonna shoot back at you but even if they hit they're gonna do minus one damage Tougher than I expected. they're stunned out of nowhere don't know why maybe it's because the other thing that i didn't read still need to get some grenades in here mechs coming online destroy the control system before they all wake up you're still stunned okay First things first is team up on blue blood, actually. He has the ability to shoot twice, and maybe you can use a land shot and catch uh, another enemy with his shot as well. Who has the lowest health right now? I would assume it's still Torque. Let's get your insides back inside. So let's get her healed up some more. Get that robot away from me. And now we'll go for a shot on, I guess, this thing. It's the highest chance to hit. And then you are going to shoot everything at that. Gotcha. Never mind. You're going to take one shot at that. 
do we have any angles that can give us two hits we do i'm gonna take Drop that angle too so three and two are gonna get taken out right now also which is pretty good so now they should only have one right it's not a competition it's absolutely a competition and blue blood is going to win this man is a killer another scar for my collection you're just like an emo take a look? basically take out the number two i don't think anything's primed to detonate Fracturing. yet and instead of moving continue you in here or like putting you in parry actually parry no because they use a flamethrower on you you're gonna be stuck in fire so i'm gonna move you back over to here all right you can use tongue pull Let's see if we can grab this android's gonna explode it. Yep. Take this. They're both immune to poison. That's bullshit. Not long now. Interesting. Not upset, but that's interesting. Um, damn, this girl cannot see shit. Gotta get moving. Watch your angles. Shit, she can't see a damn thing. I think she's had like less than fifty percent on all of these shots. Meanwhile, his dead eye is going higher than hers, and it has an aim reduction. And that's why he's gonna win this competition. Uh, is it better to Overwatch, or think about move him up? The Overwatch is gonna be more useful. Although that might make him a target for this explosion with nothing else, with no one else in Overwatch as well. Yeah, he's definitely the target for that explosion. Shit, I burped like it just slid out, and fucking as it came up. Almost took me out. I need better candidates. Seasoned XCOM soldiers aren't good enough. They're perfect soldiers, but reclamation agents aren't fighting a war. They're keeping the peace for everyone. You expect soldiers to trust alien squad mates just like that? John, I struggle with leading the people I used to fight. But I need candidates who accept that the world is changing. Transcript of Reclamation Working Group meeting 2038, August 24. I think I used one of the wrong voices for that, but whatever. If Sacred Coil went after mechs, they need soldiers. But for what army? They were underground until Mayor Nightingale's election drove them to the surface. Their hatred for her gave them motive. Find out if Sacred Coil had the means to carry out an assassination. All right, so an entire mech, an entire mech repair bay hidden beneath City 31 streets was streets. What other secret does Sacred Coil keep buried underground? Ooh, a promotion for the killer. situation hits too close to home they could have caused so much destruction in the middle of our city wanting to find one's home should not be a crime mass devastation is definitely a crime why didn't they ask for help would anyone hand a starship over to aliens who said they just wanted to leave probably not corgo probably not all right so here's here's my dilemma here if i use if i take this ability right here it's gonna double the damage at the end of his clip but that means i'm gonna have to give him an auto loader instead of an extended clip because i'll be spending more time reloading his weapon uh or i need to reload his weapon for free instead of giving him more shots in his weapon in general uh and an advanced auto loader no superior auto loader gives you free, three free re reloads and how much ammo does a pistol hold in general like I'm just trying to look at the loadout. The pistol clip size is five. So yeah, the clip size is five without anything. This will make the clip size seven. Uh, we take two shots per turn. 
usually it seems like we haven't needed to reload just yet so we'll take two shots per turn every turn uh yeah standard pistol fire and dead eye cost them. okay so the issue is i don't use i can't seem to i'm not good at lining up a shot for phase lance and the damage ramping up per subsequent hit will be powerful later on especially when we're having onslaught events and we can get them in position uh so i think i'm gonna go for that since he's already been equipped with this extended oh wait a second i just realized that man is already almost finished fuck hang on hang on nope hang on pushing all the wrong shit right now agent abilities yeah he's almost principal agent so he's almost fully maxed out already we have enhanced smgs now we'll go for the enhanced assault rifles now i guess go ahead and begin uh actually gray phoenix equipment override serum hell weave and regen weave uh gas grenades and venom round i'll go for this i want this next we don't have, we only have one assault rifle maybe the assault rifle is the right thing to go for. yeah i'll go for the assault rifle first we don't have any shotguns right now so that's not an issue not anything that we're focused on oh never mind we do have a shotgun forgot all about them anyways patchwork is gonna go in here i'm gonna start off with this and then we're gonna go down her list and do all of her training first because we wanted to be as ready as possible once she comes into the uh the fight basically we can't pull shelter out of there but we can't put claymore in here of Andromedon spotted in the sewers meeting with Sacred Coil. City 31's Andromedon Sanctuary claims no knowledge. Find out for certain before this blows up in our faces. All right. So we have a Lyrum or we have money. We're going to get the money right. Actually, firstly, first thing I'm going to do, she's in there training. We have our spec ops, spec ops going. This is all set up. Uh, scavenger market. We are hurting for intel right now. So I need to start acquiring a lot of more in a lot more intel soon. I don't think I'm upset about missing this though. We do have a lot of submachine guns on the team, but then we don't all be trying to share this one thing. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. I'll go for the actually I need to go to the shop. Enhance SMGs. I'm gonna buy a ceasefire bomb. Can I afford anything else? Infiltrator weave and another nano med kit. All right. So now, spec ops is idle. No, it's not. Anarchy unrest down to zero. New supplies already checked. Uh, already checked. Uh, already checked. All right. So I think we're ready to go, and we're gonna take the money now since we're back to being pretty much broke. Uh, three on PD links and blah blah blah. String of blah blah blah. All right. We have new spec ops from like because of blue blood. Violence in our city? I have, Gorgo, I have. Makes me wonder if 31 PD knows how to do its job. That's a bold statement, Roger. All I'm saying is that it didn't used to be this way. Not when Shrike was keeping the peace. Oh, come on. Mercenaries make bad police. Everyone knows that. Maybe you're right, but at least there was peace. All right, well, that's going to be all for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, ended up recording two back to back, so it's going to be a bit of a cliffhanger between the two. Not sure I'm going to release these yet either. If I'm going to do like full week of just straight up X comma, like do five days straight with two days off for the weekend to record some more stuff. Not sure I'm going to do it yet, but either way, I decided to do it. I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow all my other stuff in the description, my Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, and almost said facebook don't use that my twitter instagram and twitch uh but that's gonna be all for this video and i'll see y'all next time